Hi guys, this is Mark Boykins from Big Mountain Studio. And this week's storyboard tip has to do with those orphaned outlets. And what I mean by that is you create outlets in your view controller and then you delete them at a later point because you're like, ah, I don't need this outlet. And then all of a sudden your app starts crashing and you have no idea how to track down this missing outlet that you deleted from your view controller, but it still exists on your storyboard. How do you find them? How do you delete them? I wanna show you some easy ways to do that. Okay, first, let's add some outlets. Say maybe in our application, we wanna create an outlet for this label and we'll call it the title label. And later on, you're working with it and you're like, you know what, I don't need that title label anymore because I'm not doing anything to it. So you just delete it and, and then you try to run your app and let's see what happens. Boom, we got an error. We get this sig abort error. <laughs> and this is sig abort. That basically means a signal abort error. That means that uh, your, your application was running and the application is aborting the code. It throws a signal which tells the, the application to abort, stop running. So what happened? What is the heck is going on here? What you have to do is you have to come down into your output window here and scroll all the way up to the top and look at this error. Okay, so it says terminating app due to uncaught exception, unknown key exception. A key, think of a key as like, you know, that, that name that you give to your control when you create an outlet, you know, that, that creates a, like a key. And, and then it says, okay, reason, you know, storyboard view controller, or storyboard tips, that's the name of my project. View controller, okay, good. So we know at least what uh, storyboard it's on because the view controller is the default name for the first scene that you see on the storyboard. And then it says, this class is not key, is not key value coding compliant for the key title label. Okay, good, so that gives me a tip here. It tells me that my title label outlet is missing. Well, okay, so how do I fix it now? Now that I know what the problem is, how do I actually fix it? All right, let's go back. Simple way, guys. All you have to do is right-click on this view controller. This is the simplest way that I could find. Right-click on the view controller and look for this warning symbol. This tells you which outlet is missing. And as you can see, it says, you know, it's the title label. And that's what we saw in our output window was the title label was missing. The key was missing. So all you have to do is click on that X and the problem is solved. Okay, good. I hope this helped out. You can also do this with actions too. So maybe, you know, you have a, a share now action. Let's just stick that in there and we'll say share. This is called share now. It's not an outlet, it's an action. Okay, we connect and later on we're like, ah, I don't like this, I don't need this anymore. And you totally deleted it from your storyboard. And you still get the same error, but now this time before running it and seeing the error, all you have to do is just right click on this view controller icon up here, look for the yellow triangles and then delete them. And that's it. Problem solved. Okay, guys, I hope this tip helped. And practice it this week. Create some outlets, delete them, and resolve them from the storyboard. Or delete your outlets, run your project, and look at the error. See if the, you know, get used to looking at that error in the output window and to give you the tip on, like, what is it that I have to delete? And then just go to your storyboard. Or you could just blindly go to your storyboard and click on all the view controllers and just delete all the yellow triangles, all the yellow warning symbols that you see. Okay, good. Share this tip with any of your friends who are struggling with storyboards or who hate working with storyboards because I really want to help them out. And give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And consider subscribing because every single Monday I want to be coming out with more storyboard tips as well as my regular content. All right, thanks, guys.